It has already been released, the new Chapter 47 of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, in its manga version, in Chapter 46 previously, Goku had faced Aeos, the Supreme Kai of Time, who tried to destroy all spaces and timelines leaving alive only a single timeline, so he organized a tournament between different beings of space-time, and eventually Goku managed to overcome the tournament, and then facing Aeos overcoming it with the Ultra Instinct signal, and Aeos had no choice but to make everything back to normal. However, before that he receives an emergency call, as his kingdom has been completely destroyed, and also the lobby, where he started the space-time tournament, the person responsible for this attack is Demigra, who takes possession of the time scrolls, and now also has the ability to bring different space-time beings, as well as the annihilation of timelines, Demigra is presented as the new Demon King, and as in the promotional anime, ends up releasing 12 very powerful beings from different time spaces. these 12 individuals appear scattered in different places, where the Z-Warriors and the other warriors, who participated in the space-time tournament, are located. In the anime, we only got to meet two of them, one was the one-star dragon Omega Shinran, and the second was Broly Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker, and if you were curious to know who the other 10 individuals were then they are as follows. Three of these appear in the area of the western city of the time tournament, and these are Bojack, Super Android 13, and the Namekian Lord Slug, each of them boosted with more power in the area where they arrived, there are also Goten and the Super Android 17 of Dragon Ball GT. In this area, there were also Trunks from the future and Gohan from the future, so it is more than certain that we will see them as well. The next to appear are the original demons from Super Dragon Ball Heroes. If you have seen the Demon Kingdom arc, you will surely know their respective names. They appear in the planet Namek area, where Gohan, Piccolo, and the Dark Piccolo are located. Meanwhile, in the area of the planet Vegeta, where Raditz and Vegeta were fighting, a cloud of smoke and steam appears here, it is Majin Buu, this evil Majin Buu is one of the 12 allies of Demigra, as a curious fact, the entrance of Majin Buu in Dragon Ball Heroes, is identical to his first appearance, in Dragon Ball Z. Another curious fact is that Cell, is also found here in the previous chapter, Cell was watching the battle of Tarles and Vegeta, with the intention of finishing, and showing all the power he accumulated in hell, so it is very likely that we will see the meeting of Cell and Majin Buu very soon. Now we are in the area of the Crystal Planet, in this battle zone appears Chilled, the ancestor of Frieza, in this area is also Gohan Zeno of Dragon Ball GT, Pan Zeno, Hearts, Cooler, Yamcha, Hit, and Glass the Crystal Warrior. Cooler is the first to recognize the hooded guy, as he has the appearance of belonging to the race of the cold, Glass also recognizes him, and even trembles with fear, Glass recognizes Chilled, as that space pirate of antiquity, who destroyed his home planet, along with its inhabitants, Yamcha shows concern for Glass, so this is his chance to face, the ancestor of Frieza. Back to the main battle zone, the realm of the Supreme Kai of Time Aeos, tries to stop Demigra, but one of the companions of the new Demon King intervenes and stops Aeos, very easily freezing her too. Meanwhile Goku now must face his first challenge, and for this appears his first rival, as Demigra summons the one star dragon, as we saw in the promotional anime, appearing Omega Shinran, and getting excited about the new power he has now. While Demigra mentions to him that he will give him more power if he finishes Goku first, Goku is about to transform into Super Saiyan, but because he no longer has any energy it is completely impossible, which is taken advantage of by the one star dragon, who crushes the Saiyan quite easily, Goku still defends himself as best he can, but makes a serious mistake as he holds the horns on Omega Shenron's back and almost ends up being electrocuted by the dragon's thunder attack, historically Omega Shenron used this technique against Vegeta in Dragon Ball GT, and managed to leave him badly wounded by piercing his left shoulder, and now leaves Goku badly wounded, but Goku was able to escape before he was also pierced, but still the one star dragon has the full advantage and crushes Goku without mercy but before delivering the final blow is when suddenly appears Gogeta's Super Saiyan 4 hitting the one star dragon and separating it from Goku's body, the chapter ends in this way leaving us pending this crucial battle, which in a way we already saw in the promotional anime, but the manga will certainly be detailing it much more. And well friends until here with the 47th episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes manga, if you like the video give like comment and do not forget to subscribe, thanks for watching and see you next time.